Hi guys, welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. My name is Kushbu and in this video we are going to see the question Best time to buy and sell stock with transaction fee. You are given an array prices where prices of i is the price of the given stock on the ith day and an integer fee representing the transaction fee. Find the maximum profit you can achieve. You may complete as many transactions as you like, but you need to pay the transaction fee for each transaction. Note that you may not engage in multiple transactions simultaneously. That is, you must sell the stock before you buy again. So here are the examples given to us. And let's see the first example wherein we are given the prices array and the fee is 2. So the maximum profit that can be achieved is 8 by buying at 1 and selling at 8 with a transaction fee of 2 that gives a profit of 5 and buying at 4 and selling at 9 that gives a profit of 5 minus 2 which gives you 3. So 5 plus 3 is 8 making the total profit as 8. So let's quickly go ahead and see how we can solve this question. Till now we have seen a lot of buy and sell stock questions on this channel and in those videos, we have already covered the concept of effective buy price that lets us calculate the profit easily by calculating the effective buy price at each and every step. Let's recap what we have seen in the earlier videos. You can decompose the transactions into different steps. For example, if you are taking two transactions, you'll have a buy and sell of transaction 1 and buy and sell of transaction 2. And then you can also calculate the profit for each of these transactions. Now, suppose that you are giving two coins to buy a stock and this cost price becomes C1. And now suppose you sell it at 5. So what you are getting back is the 2 from the original amount that you have invested and 3 as additional profit. Now when you want to make another transaction, say buy a stock on some other day on say value 4. So what you are effectively doing is you can give all the profit that you have earned from this transaction and you can now give one unit from your own pocket. So that makes this one unit as effective buy price which is nothing but the actual buy price of this particular transaction minus the profit that you have earned from all the previous transactions. And now if you sell this particular stock at say 6 then your profit will be the profit by subtracting the effective buy price from this sell price which gives you this y minus x minus p1 which was the effective buy price for buying this particular stock making this profit the profit from all the transactions that have occurred earlier from this particular point. So that's the concept of effective buy price and how you can accumulate the profit by iterating through all the transactions and reaching to the end point where you have the profit from each and every transaction that you have made. So now let's go ahead and see one of the examples and dry run this approach. This is the first example that is mentioned in the question where over here we have taken a table. This is the index. This is the price for that particular day. And we have taken two other variables which will be profit and the effective buy price. Initially the profit will be zero and the effective buy price will be the price of buying this stock because everything that you are giving is from your own pocket. So for this example the buy price becomes one initially. Moving ahead the profit over here now becomes the maximum of either the profit that you have seen earlier or the profit by selling the stock at current price. So for finding this current profit you will say that this is the price at which I am going to sell the stock and my effective buy price was the price that I have seen earlier minus this 2 because this is the transaction fee for making a transaction. So that gives a maximum of 0 and now my effective buy price over here becomes the minimum of either the previous effective buy price or this price of i minus profit that I have seen because over here I am trying to buy at this price. So the minimum of both of them is 1. 
Moving on to another day, we'll continue the same. The profit will be maximum of either the previous profit or the current profit, which is selling at 2. My effective buy price was 1 and this transaction fee, which gives a maximum of 0. And my effective buy price becomes minimum of either the previous buy price or the current buy price, which is price of I minus the profit. So that gives me a minimum of 1 and so we save that. Moving ahead, we do the same for index 3 and over here the profit becomes 5 and the minimum effective buy price is still 1. Now when you move ahead, your maximum profit becomes maximum of either the previous profit or the profit by selling the stock at current price. And my effective buy price now becomes minimum of either the previous buy price or buying at this particular value by paying with the profit that has occurred till now which is this 5. So my minimum becomes minus 1 at this particular index. Moving ahead, we do the same and the maximum profit now becomes 8 because effective buy price was minus 1 and I try to sell this at price 9 which gives one more transaction making the profit as 8. And my effective buy price over here still remains minus 1. So at the end, this profit is the entire profit that we can achieve from making multiple transactions while taking into account the transaction fee that is applicable for those transactions. So that was about the theory behind the question. Let's go ahead and code this particular approach out. Before going ahead with me, I would suggest that you try to code it by yourself and if you get stuck, you can come back and see the code that I am showing. So let's take the few variables that we wanted. Instead of taking array, over here I am just taking the two variables because what we need is just the previous value and the current value. So that can be handled with the use of single variables instead of having an array. And now we'll go and loop over the prices array and in this we are going to update the profit and effective buy price using the formula that we saw in the video earlier. So the profit becomes the maximum of either the previous profit or the profit from current transaction which is selling at price of i minus the effective buy price and minus the transaction fee. And my effective buy price becomes the minimum of either the previous effective buy price or the current effective buy price. Wherein the current effective buy price is buying at the current price by including all the profit that I have got from the previous transactions. So this is prices of I minus profit. Finally, we just return the profit. And that's it. Let's try to run this. And it's giving a perfect result let's submit this and it got submitted the time complexity for this particular solution is o of n for the loop that we are running over here and the space complexity is o of 1 because we are only having these variables with us so this becomes our space complexity and this is the time complexity so that's it for this video guys. I hope you like the video and I'll see you in another one. So till then, keep learning, keep coding.